welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I am back in full effect. So today I am doing a Prom Inspire makeup tutorial. And I also paired it with two different lips. I paired it with a nude lip and I paired it with this deep, dark, um, vampy purple lip. And I actually love this color. Like, I love it. What do you guys think? Like, I love it. So, uh, I showed you guys, like, there's other options. Like, you know, the lip also brings out the dress and it could also bring out the makeup. So, I wanted to give you guys, like, options. So, like, oh. yeah. So, if you guys want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to take Miss Jessie's Girls Eye Primer. I'm going to use that to prime my eyelids. After that, I'm going to take Oatmeal Tan from Coastal Scents and buffing that into my crease. This is going to be my first transition shade. After that, I'm going to take Blazing from Anastasia and just warming up my crease a little bit, going over that Oatmeal Tan color. Um, so yeah, I'm just warming up my crease right here. Then I'm going to deepen it with a Mocha from Morphe Brushes. I'm going to add that to the outer V portion of my eye. I don't want to drag it into the crease as of yet because I want to make sure that the glitter shows. Um, next, I'm going to take Tipsy from Morphe Brushes as well. And I'm going to add that to the outer V as well and also into the um, crease too. To make sure that my glitter stays on all day, I'm going to take the MAC Mixing Medium Liner and I'm going to use that as my base. Working with this, you have to use one eye at a time because it dries very quickly. So I recommend using it one eye at a time then I'm gonna take this gold glitter that I got from Michaels arts and craft I do not recommend anybody buying this because this is arts and craft glitter and not eye glitter so please be careful so I'm just using that to add on to my eye just adding on to the lid I want this to be very very bold so I'm gonna like do like a double layer after that I'm gonna take Morphe's brushes gel line and the color slate with a makeup geek angle brush and I'm going to take that and make a wing I did drag my wing a little bit too far out, but I also cleaned it up later. After that, I'm going to take the NYX Liquid Liner because I felt that the Morphe brushes was not going to apply as well. So I'm just taking this liquid liner to fill in the gaps. After that, I'm going to take my Baby Skin Pore Primer and just prime my skin. I actually like this as a primer because of the texture. It's very, it's very smooth. Then I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix fluid foundation in the color n45 i really 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 love this foundation i bought it the other day and i cannot stop using it like i love this after that i'm going to take my amazing cosmetics deep golden concealer and i'm going to conceal my bags and also highlight as well so i'm just going to do that underneath my eyes on my forehead on my chin and then i'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender contour I'm going to take the ABH deep contour kit and I'm just going to contour where I normally contour I love the formula of this actual um, this cream contour so I'm just using that to blend it out with the elf stippling brush I'm going to make sure I get that big ass forehead of mine because it's not cute then I'm going to take Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just apply it to where I concealed earlier and we are concealing those bags honey because those bags are Prada Prada <laughs> and yeah, so I'm just going to set that and set my bake after. So I don't normally set my contour, but I'm just going to do it. I'm going to set it with the ABH Tan to Deep um, Contour Palette. And after that, I'm going to brush away that translucent powder with the MAC Studio Finish in Deep Dark because I don't want to have that white cast. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sweep that away with an e.l.f. powder brush. And um, after that, I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit with no product because I don't I don't know. No product. Just whatever's left on the brush. Then I'm going to take that light color and apply it to my brow bone just to lift my brow a little bit. And then I'm going to take the Fever Blush by MAC. And I'm just going to apply it to the apples of my cheek. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to take away from the eyes. So yeah, I'm just applying blush. And then after that, I'm going to take ColourPop Highlighter in the color Wisp and apply it to the highest points of my cheek to give me that nice, nice glow. <laughs> So this step is totally optional. I'm just going to take a black jumbo beauty supply store pencil and align my waterline to give it a nice smoky effect. After that, I'm going to take my Maybelline mascara, the lash mascara, and um, apply it to my lashes. Then I'm going to take NYX coffee liner and align my lips. After that, I'm going to take their liquid lip in what color is that lace detail and then I'm going to take Anastasia butterscotch gloss so it won't be as chalky and dry <music> 
So this is the first look with the nude lip. I mean, it's okay. Not really my preference, but I'm like, hey, let me just try it. So the next color that I'm using is this Vino Lip Liner from MAC. And I'm just lining my lips. And then I'm going to take their new Retro Matte Lip Collection. And the lip color that I'm using is High Drama. And I love this freaking color. If I could wear it every day, I would. So this is what High Drama looks like. 